hello students welcome to school today we are going to see a lesson in which there is some magic so let's start with our lesson lesson number 38 the magic kettle do you know which this animal is it's a tanuki a tanuki is a small furry dog like animal found in japan there are many imaginary stories about this playful little animal it is believed in the stories that a tanuki can take shape of anything or any animal here is a story about tanuki and a peddler called jimmu so let's see the story once in the country of japan there lived an old man he lived in a beautiful house high up in the mountains he was proud of his house with its white straw mats and pretty paper walls in warm weather he slid back the walls to let the smell of the tree and plants come in one day he was standing looking at the mountains opposite when he heard a kind of rumbling noise in the room behind him he turned around and saw a rusty old iron kettle in a corner how the kettle got there the old man did not know but he picked it up and looked it over carefully that's a piece of luck he said smiling to himself my old kettle was getting worn out and this looks like a good kettle he filled the new kettle with the water and put it on the fire as soon as the water in the kettle began to get warm a strange thing happened the man thought he must be dreaming handle of the kettle slowly changed its shape and became a head the spot grew into a tail out of the body of the kettle sprang four paws in a few minutes the man was watching not a kettle but a tanuki the tanuki jumped off the fire and bounded about the room like a kitten it ran up the pretty paper walls and even across the ceiling the old man could not catch it he called his neighbor for help somehow they caught the tanuki and shut it up in a wooden chest running after the tanuki had made them both very tired they sat down on the mat to rest what shall i do with this naughty animal i don't want to keep this in the house said the old man why don't you sell it off to jimmu the peddler the neighbor suggested that's a good idea said the old man so they sent for jimmu when he came the old man went to the chest and lifted the lid very very carefully but there was no tanuki inside only the old rusty kettle the old man had found he did not now want to keep the kettle he gave it to jimmu without taking any money for it jimmu put the kettle in his cloth bag and started off home he felt that his bag was getting heavier and heavier on the way but he did not put it down on reaching home jinmu put the bag away carefully in a corner at night when jinmu was fast asleep he heard a sudden noise and woke up he could not see anything but he thought he heard some noises in the corner when he lit the lamp he saw that the kettle had turned into a tanuki once again it was running round chasing its own tail it ran here and there and jumped and turned somersaults 
Jimu sat watching the tanuki for a long time. Then he fell asleep. When he got up in the morning, he saw that the tanuki had not run away. The old kettle was still there lying in a corner. He picked it up lovingly. Do you wish to stay with me, Tanuki? He asked. To his surprise, the Tanuki answered in a human voice. I'll stay with you and make you very rich. You can show me around. People will give a lot of money to see a kettle turn into a Tanuki and dance. So, that's what they did. Jimu set up a booth with a platform. He put the kettle on the platform. At his command, the kettle turned into a tanuki. At Jimu's command, the little furry animal would then walk, run, jump, leap, turn somersaults or dance. People love to see the kettle change into a playful little animal that could do all this. They paid Jimmu well to see the show. Big crowds of people came to watch the show. And the dear little Tanuki never disappointed them. Merrily, it danced many dances. The shadow dance, the fan dance and also the umbrella dance. So, Tanuki danced many dances such as umbrella dance, fan dance, shadow dance and many other dances. And in this way, he helped Jimmu to be a rich man. Soon, Jimmu had collected lots and lots of money. He had become a very rich man. He said to Tanuki, Dear Tanuki, you have made me very rich. We can both live in comfort now. We can stop the shows if you like. So, on showing the shows of Tanuki, Jimu had collected lots and lots of money and he became a very rich man. So he said to Tanuki, if Tanuki would like, they will stop the show as they have enough money to live in comfort. And so they decided to stop the shows. But Jimu did not forget the old man who had given him the magic kettle. He gave some of the money to the old man. All of them lived long and happy lives. So, when Jimu became rich, he did not forget the old man who had given him that kettle, that is the Tanuki. So, he gave some money to that old man and they all lived a long and happy life. Jimu and the old man are no more now. But you may still come across the magic kettle lying in a corner somewhere in Japan. So, you may come across the magic kettle or you may see the magic kettle somewhere in Japan which is like a tanuki. So, this was the story about Tanuki who changed into a magic kettle and who helped Jimmu the peddler to be a rich man and also the old man who has given the kettle to Jimmu. So, this was the story of the magic kettle that is the Tanuki and a peddler named Jimmu.